our colors. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regas, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. We're here to help you find your way around the sky tonight. It's embarrassing to admit, but Dean and I have favorite stars. Who's embarrassed? It's true. Now, you may think we've been looking at the stars too long, but some stars just have character. They vary in brightness, size, distance, and especially color. When we think of stars, we immediately think they're all white. Not so. Stars come in all colors of the rainbow, from ruby red to tangerine, from platinum blonde to deep blue. And these distinct colors that you can see with the naked eye tell us a bunch. Here, let's show you. We have our skies set for any night this week after sunset facing south. There you'll find the constellation Orion the Hunter with his distinctive belt of three stars. If you look a little closer, you'll see stars of different brightness and color. A star's color is an indication of its temperature, blue stars being the hottest and red stars being the coolest. You can really see the colors of the brightest stars like those in Orion. Most of his stars are blue like the belt stars Alnitak, Alnilam, and Mintaka. And Orion's left foot, the star Rigel, is blue too. But my favorite blue star is Bellatrix in Orion's shoulder. Bellatrix is one of the hotter stars at over 38,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Through a telescope, Bellatrix is the deepest blue I've ever seen, almost purple. Whenever I show this star to visitors at the observatory, they become mesmerized. Bellatrix has a mysterious history. Its name means beautiful Amazon woman star. The star's influence was said to produce strong qualities in women and rendered all those born under it lucky and loquacious. But what is such a feminine star doing in Orion, the biggest, baddest macho man in the sky? Well. He's still in touch with his feminine side. <laughs> Marking Orion's other shoulder is the star Betelgeuse. Actually, in most legends, Orion has his right arm raised up holding a club, and Betelgeuse marks his underarm. Betelgeuse translates from ancient Arabic as the armpit of the giant. Not only does this star have a colorful name, but it also shines with a beautiful orange glow. This ruddy color gives us a hint to its temperature, about 5,800 degrees on its surface much colder than blue Bellatrix. The Native Americans of the Amazon River Valley link these two stars of opposing colors, Bellatrix and Betelgeuse, in a mythological story. They picture Bellatrix as a young boy swiftly paddling his canoe, while old man Betelgeuse is struggling to keep up. Look for Orion's belt of three stars, as well as Betelgeuse and Bellatrix in the southwest after sunset. But the brightest star in the night sky is the dog star, Sirius. But don't mistake it for even brighter Venus and Jupiter visible in the western sky. Sirius blazes with a stark white light in the south and a temperature of about 17,000 degrees. Sirius is a tiny star compared to blue Bellatrix and is almost nothing next to behemoth Betelgeuse. The only reason Sirius is so bright is because it's so much closer to us, only 8.6 light years away compared to over 240 light years to Bellatrix and 640 light years to Betelgeuse. Capella is a really bright star high in the western sky this evening. Ah, Capella! Capella is similar to our sun in temperature, and so it should look about the same color, yellowish white. But Capella is much larger. Plus, there's not just one star there, but four stars orbiting each other. Imagine all the sunsets and sunrises you could see from a planet in that system with four suns. As a star, our sun falls right in the middle of the temperature spectrum, with a surface temperature of roughly 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun bathes us in the yellow-white light we all know and love. I know that dimmer stars all appear white to our eyes, but if you look at these same dimmer stars through binoculars or a telescope, you'll see their individual colors more distinctly. From red to blue, the hues are subtle, but once you train your eye to search out these variations of color, you may discover that you have favorite stars too. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.